Okay guys, how you doing? Someone asked me to show me how I make my, my salsa. So this is Cajun Keats salsa. Just a couple of things. Uh, you know, it's spring's here, about to come. Uh, I don't have any tomatoes in my garden, so I bought some canned tomatoes. I buy the diced tomato, uh, tomatoes, and also I use the uh, Rotel tomatoes to combine. I also use onions, fresh onions, jalapeno, salt, cumin, cilantro and lemon juice now you can use chips is what everybody usually uses but i eat a lot of it so i try to make it healthy and i'm using the english cucumber as a chip by slicing them thin as you can see and then i use that to dip into the salsa so the english cucumber why i use it is because first off the peelings of a english cucumber are mild and you can eat the peeling it doesn't have a bitter taste it also keeps the shrimp on the cucumber when you're using it to dip in. Now you can find them in the grocery store. They're always wrapped up. Uh, you can also use the burpless cucumbers. Uh, these come from Canada and they're pretty much year round and um, it'll come wrapped. So I'll buy them by the dozen and I use them for a variety of things. So to get started, what we're gonna do is we're gonna first off, I like to take the hard stuff, the onions, and pour them in sure that's done and then also the jalapenos and then once I get that in there I'm gonna go ahead and pour in some of these diced tomatoes and a can of Rotel now I'm gonna put my salt which is about a teaspoon and a half now this is gonna be for two cans but whatever you look up on the internet will give you the instructions about how much cumin and how much salt now I'm putting it kind of mildly in here because um, I'm cooking it for some elderly people who they got to watch what they eat and this cilantro I love cilantro you don't like cilantro don't put it in then I'm gonna top it off uh, before I do that I'm gonna actually take my lemon squeeze my lemon in here now you can also put apple cider vinegar to help preserve it a little bit so you can keep it at the camp all weekend and then you're gonna pour in a little bit of tomato I'm going to top it off with the other Rotel. And then what you do is you're going to put the top on. I'm by myself doing this, so excuse me. Okay, you're going to put the top on, you're going to give it a spin. And you can see the, the cilantro is throughout the whole container, so you know it worked well. So now that you got it done, what you want to do is you want to take a sample of it and see what it tastes like and if it tastes good you fine you serve it the way it is if it doesn't taste good you can amend it you can you never put too much salt too much cumin or too much pepper you you cook it the way it's basic and then you can add to it later or like I do sometimes I take it out and then I pour it in a container that I'm gonna eat or somebody else is gonna eat and this looks a little thick so we're gonna take the top off And what, what you do, so you get half of it out, you pour some in some containers like I do. And let's say you decide you got a bunch of guys at the camp that like it real hot. You're going to put it back on here, put the top back on, and you're going to put some more jalapenos in it. And so you'll make a batch that's normal, but then you can also make a batch that's extra hot. That's what's good about it. Once you take it, you put it in a container. You can put it in the refrigerator, sealed. It's best if it's in the refrigerator for about 24 hours. I'll eat it fresh anyway, and uh, but I'll also make I make enough as you can tell. I make a gallon at a time. Sometimes I make two and three gallons for a camp weekend. And uh, again, it's so good you can almost drink it. But in this case, we're going to be showing you. It's, you're going to dip your chip on it. It's a lot healthier to eat the chip, the, uh, the, the cucumber chip, than the potato chip. So anyway, I hope you understand how easy it is to make salsa spring's coming a lot of fresh vegetables and so enjoy your salsa have a good day thank you